You know, you know, English is from England, and this is not England. Here in New York, there was an original language called called the Lenape, a branch of the Algonquin peoples of this East Coast. The names are still here. For example, Manhattan. Does anybody know what Manhattan means? Shame on you. You work here, you live here, and you don't know what Manhattan means. If anybody knows the answer, I'll give you a CD for free right now. Manhattan means island of rock. Heavy metal island. No, it means a rock island because as you know, New York is famous because it's huge rocks. That's why they're able to put the buildings. Do you know why that area, I think it's like from... There's an area where there's not that many buildings, that's because there's not solid rock there. There has to be solid rock in order to build on top, otherwise it will sink. So again, always we give respect to the original New Yorkers, to the New Yorkers that are no longer here, but they are here in spirit. When we come and play, we play for them. They come here and hang out with us. There's more of them than there is of you right now. Trust me. If you close your eyes and open your heart, you see them dancing around with us with this music. Because they haven't heard this in a long time. They're saying, hey brothers, man. About time we get down with some real music. That's right. See, because we give them respect, we play for them. You guys are listening. But they're right here. And there is more of them, again, believe it or not. See, the ancestors live in another dimension, but it's right here. We get in touch with them with this music. See, when we play this music, when we play these instruments, we make a connection like, like you guys make a phone call and stuff on your cell phones, right? Or you send an email. This is better because this is real. See, no tech, no logic nightmare going on here. This is the real way of communicating. Because we are vibration. We all vibrate on a certain level. And music is vibration. That's why it does things to you. It does things to your heart. It does things to your spirit. And believe me, this music can heal us. And not because we are healers or shamans. Don't believe in that. Because if we start with that, then we're going to be lying. See, the reason is that you guys can heal yourselves. That's the bottom line. You don't need doctors. That's make believe. Doctors keep you sick. <laughs> That's right. Because they need the money. It's a lot of money they pay for med school. They go to school for like 10 years. Then they got to pay for it all. Meanwhile, if you listen to this music, with your heart, not with your ears, with your heart, and your spirit gets stronger and stronger, then you fight disease. And you know how we know this? Because before Columbus came, before Columbus and the Columbus nightmare came to America, the Indians here were healthy. There was no disease. We had no disease, no cancers. The water was pure and beautiful. The air was even better. You see, but in 520 years, since the Europeans came here, they messed this continent up. Now the water is polluted. Even the water you drink, even that bottled water, Poland Spring, don't let me burst your bubble. But it's not that good. It's really not. If you were to know the truth about water, it would be chaos. And you know how right now we're fighting for oil everywhere? Everybody fights for oil. Soon the battle is for water. Because we need water more than we need petroleum. And now the water is going away. Fresh water is like scarce everywhere. In some places the water goes on fire. Have you guys ever seen that on YouTube? These guys can light out their faucet because it's so polluted, it's so toxic that it lights up and, the, and people want and, and the government says the water is okay says keep drinking it it's good for you it's
it's got vitamins. No, it doesn't. That's a myth. It was a myth when I was a kid growing up here. They used to say that water in New York has got vitamins and it's good and it's better than anything in the world. Now they tell the truth that that was just, that was a lie. So please, if you're going to drink your water, I know in some places you can't afford to buy it. Filter it. You can buy those purifiers. Do whatever you can to filter it. Even your bottled water, I mean, let's get serious. That's what's making us sick. The air, the water, the foods we eat. Garbage. So that's why we come here, to feed our spirit, to feed your spirit. And together we feed ourselves in a different, in a different way. And we thank you for your time, thank you for your contributions. But more than anything, thank you for your energy. Because energy is what it's about. The money that goes in there, it's already spent. The landlord wants that. Gotta pay the rent. Con Ed wants money. Well, we thank you very much for your contributions again. Thank you for everything. The next one we're gonna.